Yeah, um, asked about the best advice I've ever had. There's a bit of context to this one. Uh, before I was managing partner, I was an employment lawyer and for many, many years worked uh, as an employment lawyer and I worked in two or three different firms before Anderson Strathairn. And one of the firms I worked in was McRoberts um, in Glasgow many years ago. And I shared a room with a fantastic uh, partner then called Emma Bell. And I think Emma's quite a well-known in the uh, person in, in the Scottish legal world. So Emma's now moved on to coaching and mentoring and all sorts of wonderful things. And uh, I keep in touch with Emma. And I would say Emma was a really important person um, in, in my working life. And what happened one day, as I sh shared a room with Emma, I'd be doing tribunals all the time. I was set down for a two or three day tribunal. And, you know, these things are always a bit nerve wracking. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. I think you always get a bit nervous, you know, pre-fight. And uh, so we had the tribunal coming up. And Emma, at that point, was getting involved in a, a lot more in things like coaching and mentoring. And she was working on the Mind Store program developed by Jack Black. And she would talk away to me about this. And I would, I would pay some regard to it, but I was really more concentrating on what, you know, the, the working day ahead and what I was doing. And anyway, I had this tribunal coming up and the thing, uh, as often happens, uh, was resolved and settled at the very last minute. So suddenly from having, you know, a, a diary full of tribunal and hearings, I ended up with a few clear days. And Emma said to me, why don't you take those two or three days and go on a mind store course that I've, uh, I'm working on? I've got some spare tickets and I'm very much a believer in that things happen for a reason and you take the opportunity when it arises. So I went on this mind store course and I went into this. I would describe myself as a very hardworking, very smart person, but incredibly cynical about almost everything which I think is a trait shared by quite a lot of lawyers. And I was certainly, I would say, a cynical young man. I went on that course and I came back and it, it, it did change my outlook in life. And I remember having a coffee with Emma after I'd gone through the course, uh, which only lasted a couple of days, but it, it, it was life-changing and it made me reflect on my attitude to life. I think that's the principal thing it did. And I remember Emma saying to me, you know, just in the kitchen, in the office, um, never be a cynic, be, be sceptical and question things and absolutely, you know, ask questions all the time, but never be a cynic. And I think that was some of the best advice I ever got. And, but it was set in a context where I think if, I, if, I, if that tribunal had run, I would probably have carried on as a pretty cynical person. But there was one other thing that happened um, a few years later, and I think it probably consolidated my views on these things. Um, I was very close to my father-in-law, and he died um, when he was 56. And I had an awful lot of time and respect for this guy. And I thought to myself, oh my God, you know, life is short. Life is far too short. I did, a, I did a great upbringing, great family, no traumas in my life. I, you know, everything worked really well for me. And then this inspirational figure in my life died. And it, it actually taught me, you know, you have to take every opportunity coming. I'm a very strong believer that you take risks in life. Um, and, you know, this is something that I think the combination of don't be a cynic and be prepared to take some risks because, you know, there is only really one life. You know, live it to the full and make sure you enjoy it when you're working. You know, if you're in a working environment that's toxic, get out. Um, enjoy your working life. Make sure it's up to you to decide what you want to do and make the most of it. So don't be a cynic you know, make the most of life. And uh, yeah, that's all I, I think I, I, would, I would have to say. Uh, and uh, hope that's helpful for some of your listeners.